we want to solve the inequality, 3 times the quantity x minus 9 minus 2 less than or equal to negative 4x minus 9. Solving a linear inequality is just like solving a linear equation, except when multiplying or dividing by a negative, the inequality symbol must be reversed. So the first step in solving the inequality would be to clear the parentheses by distributing the 3. So 3 times x is 3x minus 3 times 9 is 27. So we have 3x minus 27 minus 2 less than or equal to negative 4x minus 9. Notice how we have two like terms here on the left. Negative 27 minus 2 equals negative 29. So on the left we have 3x minus 29 less than or equal to negative 4x minus 9. Next, notice how we have x terms on both sides. We need to have the x terms on one side. So let's undo the negative 4x on the right by adding 4x to both sides. Simplifying, 3x plus 4x is 7x. We have 7x minus 29 less than or equal to, this would be 0. So on the right side, we just have negative 9. So now we have 7x minus 29 less than or equal to negative 9. The next step is to isolate the variable term. So to undo minus 29, we'll add 29 to both sides of the inequality. Simplifying, this is zero, so now we have 7x less than or equal to negative nine plus 29 is equal to positive 20. The last step to solve for x is to divide both sides by seven. So we have our solution, x is less than or equal to 20 sevenths. So notice how at no time did we multiply or divide both sides by a negative, and therefore we never had to reverse the inequality symbol. For this question, we're only asked to find the solution as an inequality, even though we will show the graph, as well as the solution written using interval notation. But for our answer, notice how we're already given x is less than or equal to, so we only enter 20 sevenths. If we wanted to graph our solution on the number line, we need to remember that because x is less than or equal to 20 sevenths, we'd begin by making a closed point on 20 sevenths to show that 20 sevenths is part of the solution. But if we're not sure where 20 sevenths is on the number line, we might want to convert 20 sevenths to a mixed number. To do this, we would divide 20 by seven. So 20 divided by seven, there are two sevens in 20. Two times seven is 14, subtract. 20 minus 14 is equal to six, which means 20 sevenths is equal to two and six sevenths which means 20 sevenths is a little bit less than three. So again, we'll make a closed point on 20 sevenths, which we'll say is approximately here, very close to three, but less than three. And then because the solution is x is less than or equal to 20 sevenths, we'd have an arrow to the left where values are less than 20 sevenths. Again, this closed point indicates 20 sevenths is part of the solution or in the interval. So here's the graph of our solution. And now to express the solution using interval notation, as we move left from the number line, we approach negative infinity. And therefore, the solution using interval notation would be the interval from negative infinity to 20 sevenths. We always use a random parenthesis to the left of negative infinity and to the right of positive infinity, but because 20 sevenths is in the interval, we don't use a parenthesis, we use a square bracket. So we express the solution as an inequality, as a graph, and also using interval notation. I hope you found this helpful.